What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And uh, let's just start off with Stephen King is a piece of garbage, a garbage human, who sits in a gated community and spouts off far leftist ideology while never actually having to live under any of the uh, things he proposes. This is a man who whines and complains about people having a Second Amendment right while also proudly proclaiming that he also is somebody who owns weapons. He also has security and armed guards and anything he could possibly want to defend himself. Yet he was in a real big hurry yesterday, basically seconds, minutes after a four or five officers, um, four officers, I believe, lost their lives yesterday, as well as five were wounded. He uh, scurried up on top of their bodies to proclaim um, you know, uh, uh, his, to push his politics. And it's just, it's people are, people are damaged. Um, of course it hadn't, didn't exactly go well for him in general. Most people view police officers favorably. Now I'll say it, just like always, I'm not a blue lives matter guy. I'm not a thin blue line guy. I think the police union protects bad cops. I think there are bad cops. But I also think there are good ones in terms of the complexities of this situation. Let's start with the actual news. So yesterday afternoon, um, law enforcement was set to serve an arrest warrant. Now, many people were trying to proclaim this was a no-knock warrant, blah, 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 blah. From the information that I could find, as these officers approached, before they even got to the house, they were met with a, uh, a, a fantastic onslaught. Um, and you can see four law enforcement officers uh, had their final watch yesterday and four others were injured on Monday uh, in North Carolina where authorities first arrived to serve a warrant. The suspect, by the way, there were two uh, involved in this, um, didn't survive. Good, right? Two other people in the home were also, at least one of them was also firing on, on police. At least one of them is to believe, believe to have fired. Well, we know this because the guy was on the lawn and then people were still volleying back and forth. In the hour since, condolences for the officers involved uh, in one of the most brutal recent uh, conflicts in law enforcement stretched from the local community all the way to the White House. So at 1.30 p.m., broad daylight, Officers with the U.S. Marshals Task Force arrived at a home in the suburb of Charlotte to serve several active warrants against a 39-year-old Terry Clark Hughes Jr., who was wanted for possession uh, of a pew-pew by a convicted felon and two counts of fleeing to elude, according to the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department. Now, this might be a hot take, you know, and I don't want to erupt things in the in the comment section, but this is an uncomfortable take for a lot of people too. Uh, the Second Amendment does not say you get the right to bear arms unless anything. You have the right to bear arms. So I'm always conflicted about this. Hey, you're a felon. You don't get the protections of the Second Amendment anymore, even after you've served your time. Um, that doesn't seem right. I, I think that's more a, a two-way absolutist position. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Um, but armed with some high-powered gear, Hughes fired upon them before they ever even got to the door. So I'm guessing it was like an AK or something like that, something that can rapidly fire. I don't know. Um, and of course, officers then returned, and then he was donezo on the lawn. From inside the house, another moron uh, thought he would fire off, pop off a few rounds, and he was also taken into custody. Uh, you know, first and foremost, again, if the warrant had just been for, you know, an officer or for, you know, felon in possession, I think that's a different conversation, but he also had other charges and clearly, clearly 
uh, an unhinged individual thought, hey, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start an unwinnable fight, go out in a hail of glory, apparently. They said they loved their work and they were passionate about their roles of protecting our communities. The officers died as heroes and made the ultimate sacrifice for their service in our state. Now, I saw a lot of hot takes again uh, about, a, you know, don't, inf- don't in- infringe on people's rights, this, that, and the other thing. Again, we could talk about, you know, how the Second Amendment shall not be infringed, this, that, and the other. And I think we might agree on that. But this is not that. There were other charges. There were other reasons that they were there. They weren't showing up at 2 in the morning, waking anybody up. They weren't bursting through the door. They were just walking in the door. or I mean, they were walking up to the house, where at which at any point this individual could have decided, hey, I'm just going to you know, turn over my, my pew-pew or whatever uh, or you know, go clean up these warrants and live uh, another day along with these other officers who were just doing their job. And I know the, oh, I'm just doing my job meme. Is, uh, is not great, especially when it's used by officers who go too far, and they do. And there are officers that do go too far. Uh, and most good, you know, mo- most police will also will agree with that. But, of course, could Stephen King, like literally an hour after it was announced, couldn't wait to say, three officers, by the way, it's four now, didn't survive, five wounded trying to serve a warrant, Ain't guns wonderful? Of course, he got quickly eviscerated. Brandon Herrera saying, it's not surprising the same ped who wants to defund the police writes fantasies about uh, underage hookups. Sure, blame the weapons. Donut operator says, make more books fantasizing about uh, gross stuff. You POS. Multiple officers uh, died today and your first thing is blaming the weapons. F you. Of course, Five times August, bringing up the fact that Stephen King said he is, in fact, an owner of a weapon. Um, again, uh, easily the dumbest post on X today. Hey, hey, Stephen, with all disrespect, I can muster. Go F yourself. Aren't criminals wonderful? Criminals aren't wonderful. Wish liberals would stop coddling them. Maybe we should handle the mental illness in this country, starting with you. Ah, yes, it's the weapons. Don't blame the criminals wielding them, though. It's such a dumb argument. It's like, I'm so sick of even, how do I say, like, of even um, acknowledging this with any amount of brain power. But I will do it for entertainment purposes, okay? Obviously, uh, we're just talking about the tool that bad people use um, to be bad. Uh, We can look at the UK where that tool happens to be knives. And people are always saying, yeah, but, yeah, but. Look, America has a second amendment. It was built into our constitution for a reason. It was so important that it is the second amendment after free speech, okay? That is how important it was <clears throat> to our founding fathers. It wasn't number nine, number eight. It was number two only behind free speech. Now, will bad people use the tools that we are constitutionally uh, uh, afforded the right to have? Will they use these tools for evil? Yes, they will. And that is unfortunate when they do. However, no amount of spurging out on Twitter, no amount of, of hot takes and quips from losers like Steven put blush on your face to look like a weirdo uh, drag queen king or uh, David Hogue standing on the bodies of my student brothers and you know, my, my this other students in class to get rich. No amount of these losers enriching themselves off the back of going after the Second Amendment will change the Second Amendment. It's not changing. So if you're spending time whining and complaining about what is a constitutionally protected right, you are an idiot. Now, if Stephen King wanted to propose, you know, questions about mental health or propose questions about, um, you know, recidivism, I have a feeling that this isn't the first interaction that this individual had with police. If he wanted to have conversations about the thousand opportunities that this individual had up until the point they chose to do what they did, 
I will engage in that conversation, even if it's something I strongly disagree with. But when you start to say, oh, the tool they used just hopped up all on itself and ended up doing terrible things with no human intervention, you are a moron. Uh, you know, I don't know if this individual was, you know, gang affiliated. It doesn't matter. What we know is the warrant itself was was legit. He was obviously in possession. Now, I don't necessarily agree wholeheartedly with taking away a felon who's done their times for Second Amendment rights. I don't believe I don't think I agree with that. However, it is the law. I don't agree with it, but it is the law. I think that law is in direct conflict with the Second Amendment, but I don't know if a lot of people will agree with me on that. It's uncomfortable, right? The same thing of like, you have these, you know, lunatic, it's like red flag laws. You know, man, this person said they're going to do something horrible. We should probably disarm them. Uh, you really can't as much as it feels right to do. Of course, then he backtracks uh, after getting crushed all night long saying, I don't want your weapons, man, or anybody's, but look, something has to be done. Nobody ever can say what that thing is, though. That's what's interesting. None of these people that be like, well, geez, do something. Okay, what? Make a suggestion. You're a writer. You're supposed to be smart. Make a, make a suggestion that people will want to, you know, hear and talk about. You know, let's think about and come up with a solution. Even, uh, you know, half-ended would be better than none. So he backtracks. Because he got, he was getting crushed all night. Then make a few suggestions rather than just spewing rhetoric. We'll be waiting. The state with the highest types of events like this is California, which also has some of the most strict laws. Again, I'm not talking about the Second Amendment. It's not up for debate. Okay. If Stephen King wants to take a second to, you know, make a, a you know, by the way, you could say, hey. Maybe he could have said, man, we really got to work. We got to do something about these armed standoffs. I would actually agree with that. Maybe wait till this guy's out in public uh, and grab him instead of having creating a situation where you have a barricaded suspect, which is the most dangerous imaginable for law enforcement. You know, maybe uh, trick him, tell him he won a, a free boat when he goes to pick up his boat, arrest him. I, you know, all this kind of stuff, I think. If we could talk about reducing these type of conflicts, I think I would agree with that. Um, but the idea that we should remove people's Second Amendment rights is dumb. I'm not. I'm not engaging in that. And Stephen King is a piece of garbage for uh, basically laughing at these officers who lost their lives. I hope you were informed by this video. If you were, please do leave a like on it. If you made it this far, please do subscribe. If you haven't, we'll talk to you again real soon.